finger pricks to check blood glucose levels are just one part of the management merry-go-round for type 1 diabetics. It's a pain, it's really hard. You've got to constantly think about what you're eating, you've got to constantly check your sugar levels. Today, researchers at Sydney's Garvin Institute are a giant step closer to overcoming that challenge. Currently, islet transplant procedures take insulin-producing cells from hard-to-find donors and transplant them into a diabetic's liver. Today's breakthrough will vastly improve the complex procedure by supercharging islet cells, meaning fewer cells that work harder to produce insulin. Islet cells have a natural handbrake which is stopping them from making as much insulin as they normally could. And so we worked together to show that in, um, we could release this handbrake in an islet cell transplant so that a mouse would get just one transplant and it would be cured of its diabetes. Currently, recipients need multiple transplants and rely heavily on anti-rejection drugs. But the breakthrough will help overcome those hurdles. Islet transplantation is currently only available to the most severe cases of type 1 diabetes. It's hoped this breakthrough could mean the procedure is soon open to many more. I think it would be uh, fantastic because we're not, we don't have to worry about you know, living in fear of all the complications you can get through type 1 diabetes. Now researchers hope to see early results replicated in larger human trials. Angie Asimus, 7 News.